All right, time for the weather. We are rocking and rolling. Keith, our third storm in less than a week. Yeah, and Rob, if we're going to do it, it tends to be what, late January, early February that we get into these streaks. And so here comes the third one, which uh, looks like it's really, really close on radar. But as we discussed a few minutes ago, we have to saturate this column of air from where the radar is seeing the snow all the way down to the ground. And that hasn't happened so far. So there are no reports of snow back through this area that the radar is saying is snow. Meanwhile, this down here into central Massachusetts, that's likely the actual leading edge of this system. And if we widen it out, there's a lot more moisture yet to go. Remember, the key to this whole system is going to be that rain snow line that's going to try to push on shore overnight tonight. But initially, it is moving into a very cold air mass, and we're talking all snow everywhere to start. So again, this model has it coming in around three or four. That seems reasonable to me. I think it'll be relatively light at the beginning, but then very quickly ramping up through about the evening commute. So this is seven o'clock, and I think especially York County down into Portsmouth, New Hampshire, could have a pretty rough evening commute. Probably be on the line in a place like Portland where there will be some snow, but I don't anticipate it'll be ripping snow at that time. The heavier snow bands get in here 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, and they really settle in just on the other side of this coastal front. The coastal front, by the way, is going to be pushing across the islands back and forth here 10, 11 o'clock at night, probably getting into Portland once and for all around midnight tonight, and then we change over to rain after that. Still snowing heavily, though, inland temperatures in the 20s there, and then the rain snow line does make a lot of progress in the early morning hours tomorrow. But at that point, a lot of the heavier moisture is already through. So you can see when some of these spots change over to rain, like Bangor, the storm is almost done anyways, and we're in better shape by tomorrow midday. This is a very quick moving storm, which leads me to this. We're going to have to get some really good snowfall rates to get our predicted snow in time, right? And so just to set a baseline here, an inch an hour is really heavy snow. It's what you'd perceive as heavy snow. Two inches an hour is just absolutely dumping snow. So here we are, six o'clock. We've got a half inch an hour. That's fine. That's light to moderate stuff. And then we get into some inch to an inch and a half an hour around seven o'clock. So that gets pretty heavy in here into Sanford, uh, Portland, and Freiburg. And then watch this through later in the evening where we've got inch and a half to up to two inches an hour in Freiburg, for example, um, out into Cornish. I could see it. Brownfield, all those spots around 11 or midnight will really be putting down snow very quickly and that will shift the heavy snow will shift into northern Maine by tomorrow morning and then we're done with this thing but it'll take a while in caribou for example to get into the heavy snow so our map looks pretty much the same uh todd added a couple of bullseyes here for the mountains implying 12 or more inches of snow and that seems reasonable that they could get over 12 inches of snow down east Maine, by the way one to three. They're going to change over just too quickly to see much accumulation there, although there will be some slush involved in it. Okay, we get a break. Nice day on Friday. Saturday looks good too. We're likely to see some snow coming in Sunday night, Sunday late afternoon, Sunday night into early Monday. This looks kind of a, more like a clipper situation though, meaning it should be on the light side. I'll tell you what, Rob, looking ahead to next week, there are more storms lined up this uh, pipeline, so we'll have to keep an eye on those. All right, all those reports that winter's demise had arrived this year, greatly exaggerated. Yes, yes. Thanks, Keith.